Yeah. Right. Following on from my Advent talk about surviving cancer, I feel I should just expand on what happens next. How did this experience affect me? How have I changed, if at all? Well, having come through the nightmare of cancer with the support of God, it would seem foolish not to walk in lockstep with him. In my Advent calendar talk, I made reference to Jesus, the light of the world. He stands at your door and knocks. So not only do you have to open the door to him, you also have to listen for the knock. Now I try to listen much, much more carefully to that small, still voice that comes in the night. There was a Scottish poet called W.S. Graham. He died in about 86, I think it was. And he wrote a poem entitled I leave this at your ear for when you wake. This seems to me to be one of the many things that God does. Small messages of support, actions to take, paths to follow. In normal circumstances, i.e. non-Covid times, this may be a hard enough yoke to shoulder. At this present time, it can seem impossible to follow any kind of instructions, no matter how small. Having realised that I have chosen to walk in the light, we are, after all, people of the light. The shadows of this earthly place, Covid, austerity, Brexit, are simply man-made shadows that pass across our lives. The very act of walking in the light is a message of hope. Others notice how you live, what you say and what you do. If God leaves a message at my ear, I know it won't be something that I can't do, something that just can't be done. I just keep walking in the light. This simple way of living will make you a super spreader, not of the virus, but of God's love and hope for the future. In these dark times, we need that hope. The dark shadows have always fallen across this world, but they've never, ever put the light out. I wish you joy and hope this Christmas, and should you wake on Christmas morning, and find that Jesus has left a message at your ear. Just say, Happy Birthday. <laughs>